strip away my face like an expired billboard. We'll share our chest between our teeth like sea foam beasts. Remove my heart and its confused rivers and crooked dams And feed it to the dreariest beach in Glasgow When the water swells like your lips from too many front porch kisses There's an orchard beneath your dress A dizzy albatross napping in the leaves Thirsting for the secrets and the hair tucked behind your ears there are saints whose names I've never learned Buried beneath your wrists Nestled within the roots With peppermint leaves beneath their tongues And dreaming of helicopter wrecks And the mangled chain link fence teeth Of a lethargic hilltop Speak to me something foreign Like crowing hornet's nests In the chipped wooden drawers of your desk Until we fall asleep to the sounds of hummingbirds wheelchairs, drowning in the oceans in our wood grain fingertips. There's a bathtub trapping ambient noise on the second floor of your house. I wake with headaches and feathers trapped in my hair, and you on the tip of my tongue was something angry caged in my lungs. In the basement, a bootstring mouse wonders if his paws can scuttle faster than the class smash of a cold steel trap. Find me lying in the hallways, taking mouthfuls of wax apples and pantomiming two mountains in a stream with my stuttering fingers. When I'm hung over, my dreams are less fantastical love stories to Christmas Fox in her infinite arms. We're telling off bull snoozers in New Orleans, reading vampire crawfish on mountaintops of broken glass, or even my exploded torso devouring the Minotaur surgeons. They're more realistic and terrifying. They blend and blur with the previous night like a drugstore disposable camera double exposed. Did my voice reach your sleepy ears? Did I explain how I used to sit hunched over, hugging my shins like a summer hinge while digging my front teeth into my knees? How lost I am on every drive home. How touching your thighs makes me want to believe in a god. How mercy means less older brothers, vicious Indian burns, and more the soft squeeze of your fingers as our mouths tangle in quiet secrets. And if so, you'll find me as a summer hedge. Fingers crossed that my teeth and knees are strong enough to hide for just a little bit longer. I'm nothing if I can't remove the thunder from your head. I'll take you to the garden and put you to bed where we can forget to water our clocks until the hands wilt and drop. And we'll plant subtle lines in our garden. You'll ask if I'll do the same for you one day. I would. Together we'll expose our roots and you can hit rivers that beg for warmer days and fill the valleys that are run dry where the old have gone to die revitalize the light that tries to rise to the vicious beast in the sky that we can only see from the corner of our eyes. And when you don't feel well, I'll sip the venom that you can't spit until I'm full and sick and it'll be worth it. If your leaves turn red and drop from your gorgeous head and your branches ache and creak at night, I'll attempt to write only the prettiest words I can think of. And if I only repeat your name a dozen times, I hope you're okay with that. When I fall asleep, I'll let you annotate my dreams, where I watch you pray as I craft glass bottom boats that never float but drown in the wheelchair seas. Where my hands flower into parrot pictures that trap the spiders that grow in your chest. Where I spend hours removing my own teeth and plant them in your backyard in an attempt to grow a god who could create something as beautiful as you. When I don't wake up, you can take my plastic bones and fashion a better umbrella or a boat of your own to combat the rising tides that break through my mouth and flood your home. I'm sorry if my hemorrhaging ink heart stains your dress and porcelain skin. If it floods your bed and stains you red, but you planted your seeds in my ventricles, 
and shy saplings have grown into colossal sequoias, and I'm having heart attacks in these burgeoning forests where I watch flowers swallow bees, where I can trace the tree's roots to the tangles of another, bridging the distance that my fingers can't. When my tonsils swell into crystal glass hot air balloons and choke out the voice that can't do justice to the poems I dream, will you hollow out my belly? Will you write your words on my lungs? Will you sink your teeth into my bones and chew on my marrow? Bury me in watermelon husks with painted X's over my eyes. Spread out your roots and please get tangled with me. Tying cinder blocks to our hungry incisors, stifling our anxious bones with mid morning thunderstorms. I'm growing my hair out until I can hide within the branches, until I can hide like a department store vagrant behind curtains of summer dresses or winter coats. When I'm found by stern fingers around my tiny wrists, I want wooden planks to my face with a charming grin and perfect teeth. I'll grow cacti from my tongue so I can speak something sharp. Their roots, their bathroom tiles. But I can't spread my fingers wide enough to connect either, so if it's okay, I'll mail you postcards from my swollen tonsils, from my ravaged throat. They'll say, please don't make fun of my handwriting. They'll say, everything inside of me is wooden and wet and falling into ruin. They'll say, sometimes having somebody's tongue in my mouth makes you think of slugs. And that's probably why I'm such an awful kisser. Or how every gorgeous skyline horizon is just a blockade bloated belly touching down between our towns. The backside of an old farmhouse says, I want to see the way you perch between the doorframe of a bedroom. A whisper between your lips that can't glide on these wings riddled with caterpillar bites past our churning ceiling fan. The halo that cages the moon begs us to confuse our fingers. Every vintage carousel twists my tongue and brings the blood to my face. And every skeezy beachfront property says, Darling, given the chance, I'd kiss you something weird. Perhaps a bit too much slug, but I promise I'll do it out of love. There's a cabin somewhere, with sunlight painting the floorboards between the cracks. There are hungry dogs in the closets. I painted broken nightlights in the hallways. A surgeon above your bed. Lazy birds sleep on your windowsill. Their agitated dreams cooling like an overbaked pie. There are dozens of these postcards between the floorboards. Close your eyes and follow me home. forts. Our palms are tree canopies and our fingers sleep within the leaves. These crooked rivers converge between our smiles touch. Bedroom stitched constellations Open your chest wide and dig inside Show me the story of the comatose panther Who couldn't stop tonguing the gash inside his cheek Or show me a color I haven't yet seen So long as I promise to forget it immediately So 
Spread my hair about the pillows. Let these vines trap your fingers like hungry spider webs. And tap out the story of the wolf and his cotton candy insides and bubblegum bone marrow on my chest. And please, call me something new. There are houses and there are aquariums with minnows that wish they could be whales and there are cupboards and drawers and there are alcoves that breathe broken statues while a lion's mane devours the color from my face when I try to speak your name aloud. I don't dream about you enough. But it makes my mornings a little less awful.